So the the first uh, story is called as trifle as a pudding. Uh, the three writers here. I'd like to introduce you to them. Uh, there's Nina George, there's uh, Nitesh, and there's Asha Chaudhary. So now they would do the reading, and I will come in for the next set of writers. The the first ingredient of a trifle pudding is the sponge cake. A really good trifle pudding has to have a really good vanilla sponge cake as its base. Feather light with just the right amounts of bounds, bursting with sweet, creamy vanilla flavor. Tara stood in the middle of a sunlit yellow kitchen with her battered copy of Mrs. Beaton's book of household management on the granite island, open to the trifle pudding recipe. The book was a family heirloom passed down from generation to generation. Heavily edited with notes and doodles over its pages, this particular page had a grandmother's large looping writing which said the cake has to be perfect. He had been perfect. Siddharth Malhotra, tall, broad-shouldered with thick curly hair, he was the most popular guy in college. Everybody liked him. Everybody wanted to be his friend. The girls would sigh dreamily in unison over his dimples and that mischievous twinkle in his eye. He was the funniest, he was the coolest. Tara had run into him on her first day of college. What if nobody likes me? What if I don't have any friends? She had been terrified of college. As she was running up the stairs, searching for a classroom, trying to make it in time, her bag slipped. A gory murder mystery paper bag, a notebook, tissue balls, rubber bands, pens, candy wrappers, mints all spilled over, echoing the clutter through the now empty corridor. Hey, do you need some help? You're a fresher, right? A warm, deep voice cut through her embarrassment. She tucked her long, poker-straight hair behind her ear and looked into a pair of chocolate-brown twinkling eyes. Her heart pinged, somersaulted and fell head over heels over him. The other girls were so envious, they couldn't believe it that he was friends with her, not them. When she started dating him, not even their pettiness could bring her down from her happy high. He was it, what all the books, the movies, the songs talked about. He was all that and more. Two years her senior in college, Tara kept pinching herself to believe it to be true. Siddharth Malhotra had noticed her, Siddharth liked her. He wanted to date her, she couldn't believe it. He was the perfect boyfriend. He would open doors for her. He would always pick up the bill. He would buy her little gifts for no particular reason, baby. I was just thinking about you. Tara had been completely love-struck by the handsome, most perfect Siddharth Malhotra. He broke her heart most perfectly too, with a, I just don't feel the same anymore. I really hope you understand, baby. He hugged her one last time, dropped a kiss on her cheek, and ended her first ever love with the cliched, You'll always be special to me. The key to a perfect vanilla sponge cake is air. The more you sift the flour, the more air you get. Looking back, she realized that Siddharth had been just a perfect little bubble that her lonely heart had made. All air and no substance. Tara looked at the recipe again. Custard, a uniformly heated mixture of egg yolk and milk. Tara always had a difficult relationship with custard. It seemed to be sweet and enticing in the beginning, for about first five spoonfuls. Then the familiarity of its taste made her wish that the entire bowl was done in a couple of bites. Sometimes she would give up halfway through a bowl, bowl of custard and discard the rest. Hence, custard should never be eaten in isolation. However, she liked custard in the middle of a trifle pudding. Vinod entered her life when she was recovering from her first heartbreak. He was the proverbial nice guy. His dirty scratched glasses and crumpled t-shirts with obscure equations were the symbols of his nerdiness. He never changed even when they started dating. Above all, Tara hated his clean-shaven face. Unfortunately, he was proud of his clumsy appearance. Silly fellow. He had started off as a friend, a guy who was reliable and gentle. His soothing lectures on the uncertainty of life 
helped her get over her first love. Tara found a dependable shoulder on which she could lean on while her heart healed. She felt grateful, but that was an emotion that no girl could have sustained. One would have wished that he took some of her improvement points seriously, but he never did. As time passed, the famili familiarity of his niceness was what repels Tara. Vinod and Custard were the same in the beginning till the, from the beginning till the end, but her feelings for both of them were something that changed over time. It was inevitable and unavoidable. Familiarity does breed contempt. He was the guy who bored girls to death with his politeness. As soon and soon, after a certain point, she ended conversations quickly, feigning a headache or exhaustion. Too much of custard, as we are well aware, is not good for health. Neither is excessive niceness. Vinod made her feel fatter and older than she was. He never gave her the thrills that her first love had provided in excess. After a couple of months, Tara distanced herself from him consciously. The boy took some time to understand her, but he never understood why he was dumped. He drifted away like a paper boat in the rain. Soon, Tara stopped answering his calls. Finally, she added him on his block call list. But still, she liked custard in her trifle pudding. It reminded her of Vinod, the nice guy, the sweet guy who becomes an enormous bore when you spend too much time with him. As the sun swept higher into the sky, Tara began to work faster. The sponge cake lay clean and golden on its cooling rack. The custard, smooth and silky, was chilling in the refrigerator. A pot of fresh cream had been placed on the top shelf to keep it as cold as possible. It was now time to get the fruit ready for the final layer of the pudding. Despite her thoughts that had been swinging from the past to the present since morning, she was looking forward to the last step of the simple recipe. This would be a delicious dessert, rich and delectable, like the love of her life, Rahul. She checked the recipe again. Add ripe grapes and pomegranate seeds to your pudding if they are in season, but choose the fruits that complement each other, her grandmother had written. Oh, Nana, she thought, with a sudden yearning for her grandmother. There is always something soothing about cutting fruit, and as she spliced through the pineapple, she thought again of the clean break she had made with her earlier boyfriends. Each relationship had come with so much promise, and yet, when they hadn't worked out, she had been able to carve them neatly out of her life. She wasn't sure if it would be that easy this time with Rahul. As she rubbed the pineapple with salt to take away its sharp bite, she tried to remember how long she had known Rahul. They had been in high school together and later in the same lab class in college. She remembered how she had laughed at his SMS jokes and reread them over and over again. They had realized that they were almost identical in taste and thoughts. They finished each other's sentences, they read the same books, they dreamt the same dreams. But when he finally left for Columbia to pursue a degree in aeronautical engineering, she had lost touch with him. And then suddenly, just like that, out of the blue, a few weeks ago, he had returned to her life. He had begun sending her emails, WhatsApp messages, and Facebook links. The pineapple slices were piling up as Tara cut them into neat cubes, and soon they began tumbling out of the bowl. Her thoughts ran in all kinds of directions too. As she began peeling the bananas for the next layer of fruit, it was like peeling back layer after layer of memories. The perfect man had not been perfect after all. The predictable man <coughs> had left her bored senseless. But what about Rahul? 
The fruit was ready and she took out the cream and folded it in. Rahul might be the one for her, he might be just like her, he might be the best match for her or he might not be. The trifle pudding was ready and that was all she wanted for now.